there are any children in the house, tell them it's time for a story now. The story that I'm going to tell is a folk tale from Hungary. It's called The Little Rooster and the Turkish Sultan. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman who was very poor. She was so poor, the only animal she had on her farm was a little red rooster. One day, there was no food left to eat, and so she told the little red rooster he would have to go out into the yard and scratch to find himself some grubs and worms to eat. The little red rooster went out into the farmyard and he began to scratch, but the only grubs and worms that he could find were his friends and he didn't want to eat them. So he went out into the street and dug in the dust there some more. And then he noticed something small and shiny. And when he looked, he saw that it was a diamond button. And he said, cock a doodle do a diamond button. If I take that home to my mistress, she won't be poor anymore. So he picked up the diamond button in his beak, and he started to turn around to walk toward the house, when all of a sudden, he felt an enormous dark shadow looming over him. And when he looked up, it was the Turkish Sultan, the ruler of the land. The Turkish Sultan was as broad as he was tall. And he was wearing an enormous pair of baggy trousers that weighed so much, it took three servants to hold them up when he walked along. The Turkish Sultan looked down at the little rooster and he said, Give me that diamond button. The little rooster looked up and he said, No, I won't give you my diamond button. And the turkey shelton said, You give me your diamond button. No, I won't give you my diamond button. And the turkey shelton said to his three servants, Grab that little rooster, take away the diamond button, and we'll take it back to the palace and put it in my treasure chamber. And that's exactly what they did. And the three servants picked up the Turkey Shelton's baggy pants, and away they walked toward the palace, with the little rooster looking behind. The little rooster was very, very angry they had taken his button, so he followed along. When he got to the palace, he flew right up onto the Turkey Shelton's bedroom window. And he cried out, cock a doodle doo Turkey Shelton, give me back my diamond button. When the Turkish Sultan looked out the window and saw the little rooster, he was mad. And he said to his servants, take that little rooster, take him out to the well and throw him in the well and drown him. And so the servants, went out and caught the little rooster from the windowsill, and they took him and they threw him down in the well. When the rooster felt the water reach his feathers, he called out, Come, my magic stomach, for he had a magic stomach. Come, my magic stomach, and swallow all this water. And the little rooster's magic stomach swallowed all that water and he got fatter and fatter and fatter. But he didn't explode. He just flew right up out of the well, right back up to the windowsill of the Turkish Sultan's bedroom. And he went cock-a-doodle-doo, Turkish Sultan, give me back my diamond button. And the Turkish Sultan, when he saw the little rooster, he was furious. And he called his three servants and he said, go out there and catch that little rooster. Take him and take him down to the kitchen, put him in the oven and cook him for my supper. The three servants went out. They got the little rooster. They took him down into the kitchen and they built an enormous fire in the stove and they opened the door and they threw that little rooster in the, do in the door of the oven and they slammed it shut. And when the little rooster felt the flames at his feathers, he said, Come, my magic stomach, let out all this water 
and put out that fire. And all the water came out of his magic stomach and put out the fire. When the servants came back to see if the little rooster had cooked, he flew right out the door and right back up to the window of the Turkish sultan's bedroom. And he cried out again, Cock-a-doodle-doo, Turkish sultan, give me back my diamond button. When the Turkish sultan saw the little rooster there again, he was flabbergasted and he said to all his servants go out and catch that little rooster take him down to the orchard and throw him in the beehives and let the bees sting him to death the three servants went out and caught the little rooster they went and put him inside the beehive and as soon as the little rooster heard all those bees all around him. He said, come my magic stomach and swallow all these bees. And the little rooster's magic stomach swallowed all the bees. And he flew out of the beehive right back up to the Turkish sultan's window. And he called out again, cock-a-doodle-doo, Turkish sultan, give me back my diamond button. When the Turkish Sultan saw him again on the windowsill. He was enraged. And he called three servants and he said, What am I going to do with this little rooster? I am so mad. What shall I do? And the first, the first servant said, Well, Your Majesty, you could chop off his head. And the Turkish Sultan said, No, it's been done before. And the second servant said, Well, Your Majesty, um, you could hang him from a tall tree. And the Turkish Sultan said, Boring. The third servant said, I know what you can do, Your Majesty. You can put him inside your baggy trousers and sit on him and squat him. And the Turkish Sultan said, I like that idea. So the servants caught the little rooster and they brought him over and they put him inside the big baggy part of the sultan's trousers. And the turkey sultan was so fat, he needed somebody to help him sit down. So all the servants took him by the elbows and they started to lower him down. And when the little rooster looked up and saw the turkey sultan's bottom, he said, come my magic stomach and let out all the bees to sting the sultan. And all the bees came out and started to sting the sultan. And he ran around the room going, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. And then he said to his servants, get rid of that little rooster. Whatever you have to do, get rid of that little rooster. And the servants said to the little rooster, what do you want? And he said, I only wanted my diamond button." All right, said the servants, and they took the little rooster down to the Turkish Shelton's treasure chamber. And they threw him inside and said, go get your diamond button yourself. When the little rooster got inside the Turkish Shelton's treasure chamber, he looked around and he saw that the room was filled with diamonds and rubies and pearls. And then he said, come my magic stomach take in all these treasures and his magic stomach swallowed all the diamonds and the rubies and the pearls and then over in one corner he saw his diamond button he went over and picked it up in his beak and then he left the room and went home when he got back to the old woman's house he tapped on the front door with his beak and before she had a chance to answer the door, he said, Come, my magic stomach, let out all these treasures. And by the time the old woman opened her door, she was no longer a poor old woman. She was rich. And as for the little rooster, he went out to the garden and scratched around until he found his friends, the grubs and the worms.
And then he told him the story of all his adventures with the Turkish Sultan.